You know it gets rough sometimes. Rough sometimes. Rough sometimes. What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to learn how to protect the ball so we can stop getting the ball stolen. Let's get started. Alright guys, well, like I said, we're going to be talking about how not to get the ball stolen. All right, we're going to focus on a few key points that's going to allow you to be more secure with the basketball and having it in your hands and not allowing the defenders to steal it from you. So let's dive right into it with the first talking point being your foot position. All right, the way you place your feet is really important. All right, so let's just say Buddy right here, he's my defender, he's guarding me, he's been harassing me and pressuring me all game, trying to steal the basketball, trying to make me uncomfortable so I make the wrong play or I turn the ball over. That's his job as a defender. So if my job is to protect the ball and to take care of it. So here's the first point, like I said, our foot position. So right now, if Buddy's pressuring into me and I'm standing like this and I have my feet directly in front of him, this is going to be a lot uh, really difficult for me to make a play because I'm squared up with him, but he's pressuring into me and I'm basically just giving him the ball like this because my feet are square. Yes, if I was shooting the basketball, that's fine. But if the defender is pressuring me, the thing I don't want to do is turn my feet the opposite way away from him, right? Because now my back is turned towards the defender and that's no good. So if I'm feeling any sort of pressure with the defender, what I would want to do myself, you know, learning this throughout my years of playing the game and having defenders pressuring into me, is I like to have one foot up front, right? And I like to have my strong side foot. So meaning I'm a right-handed player, I want to have my right foot back. So I'm in this position here. So number one, I'm protecting the basketball just with my foot position. And that's what we're talking about right now. Again, if I'm here, I'm a little more vulnerable. And if I'm here, I can't see anything over there. But if I'm here, I've got one foot in front, right? My weaker side, but I've got my strong side foot here. I'm protecting the ball just like this. I can see here and I can see everything over there. And then when I am ready to make a move, wherever it may be, if I want to take an escape dribble, I can just push this way. Or if I want to attack, I can just swing my strong side foot up and get by him. If I wanted to cross step and put my back on him, I just swing that foot around, right? But that's a little harder from this position here because the defender's in to me and it's really hard from this position here. So if you want to do it like I do, I'm more comfortable in a position here where I can protect the ball just off of my foot position. Next, we're going to talk about body position, so we'll get more into that. But right now, if you just see the way my feet are aligned, I like being in this position here. I'm comfortable, and I can still see everything on the court. All right, so that's the first step in protecting the basketball and not allowing the defender to steal it. Because I'm observing, I stay here focused and moving purpose. I sow a seed, they sow a need, I water them. All right, so moving on, now we're going to talk about our body positioning. So we've got our foot, our feet set. So if you want to be like this, that's great. Now with our body positioning, if we're here again, we're vulnerable. If we're here and our body's facing that way, what good does it do? Unless if we have a player back here that we're going to pass to and get the ball out of our hands so we can move and get out of the way. But I can't see anything else that's going on behind me when I'm trying to score. But if I've got my footwork right the way I want it, my body is now protecting me as well. I've got my left foot up in front, which means this side is shielding the defender away from me. So if Buddy was to try to climb up and get closer, this side is protecting me, right? I've got my left foot up, I've got my left leg and my hip and my left shoulder all protecting the basketball. So if Buddy was to reach his hand in here, all I gotta do is put that arm out, that body, and he's gotta now go through me or try to foul me. Right? So I've protected the ball. You can't get it here. The ball's back here, right? Far away from the, the defender. If I could palm it, I could even put it all the way back out here. He's definitely not getting that without fouling me, right? But if I'm in a position here, now I'm having a little more trouble. And I talked to you about being in this position because now we can attack. I can swing here and now I can put my back on him and use my body as a shield. So now he's here and I've got my back on him here. Right? I can still see the court, and all I got to do to get the ball back here is quickly turn right back. But if I go here with the cross step, he's on my back. I'm protecting him with my body. Ball is still away from him. He can't reach through. I can make a dribble and attack, right? So now I'm using my body to protect the basketball. Same thing. If I was to go from here and to drive it, 
The ball's on the outside part of my body, away from the defender, protecting the ball. I'm shielding with my shoulder and my legs. That's not gonna allow the defender to get through without fouling. Okay, so your body positioning is very key when protecting the ball. Use your body, shield off the defender with the way you position yourself with your body in order to protect the basketball. Very important, very useful when trying to stop the defender from stealing the basketball. And that's what this video is all about. So we've got our feet set, we've got our body in the correct position. The last thing we're going to talk about is the way you can use your hands in order to help you protect the ball from any defender. Please don't go with me, no OMG, I slaughtered them. The LOL, their flow is like hello hell. All right guys, like I said, the last thing we're gonna talk about is the way we can use our hands in order to protect the basketball. Okay, so number one, if we're here now and we've got our, we're shielding our defender off, boom, I'm here. And if I want to dribble the basketball to protect it, all I got to do is put that hand out. If you've started the game and the coach you had told you to use your arm bar to protect the ball, they're right. That's the right way to do it, especially for younger players to dribble a ball like this. I even did it in college, just being the ball right here, protecting it. So anytime that defender tried to put his hand in there and try to steal the ball, you know what I would do? Swipe him away. Back up. I'm going to hit your hand. You're going to feel it each and every time, and you're going to stop doing it because I'm going to continue to slap your forearm until you get that you're not trying to take this ball from me. You're not going to get it from me. So again, I can do it when I'm dribbling the basketball. I can do it when I'm just protecting it here. I can shield them off so when I want to make a pass, I'm deflecting their hand while I'm making that pass. I'm in a position here. I got them on my back, and I can use extra help by putting that arm bar out to protect the basketball. That's one of the oldest tricks in the book, using your arm bar. I, taught, I was taught that growing up my entire life playing, with, with playing basketball, when you're doing just basic dribbling drills, you're always taught, get your arm bar out, protect the ball, right? It's one of the oldest tricks in the books, but it still helps. Whatever age you are, whatever grade you are in, no matter what type of basketball you're playing, whether it's pickup, one-on-one, in a game, use that arm bar because it helps you protect the basketball. So those three tips that I gave you, positioning your feet right, putting your body in front of the defender and shielding them off with the way you position yourself is also a great way to help. And then throw that arm bar out. Use your hands to deflect anything that your defender tries to do when they're trying to steal the ball to protect the basketball and avoid any turnovers, all right? Because if you got the ball, you're in control. You've got to make the decisions and you can't do that without the basketball. So if you're trying to get the ball and protect it, and you're trying to decrease the amount of times you get the ball stolen, listen to the three tips that I just gave you and you'll be just fine and no defender will get that ball from you. Get your feet right, place your body in the right position and smack that hand away. Those are the three tips I got for you to help you stop getting that ball stolen. Hello, hell, just who pops up out of cell, then toast it to never fail. I prevail and stay on top of, come on, copy options with proper. All right, Hoopers, well, there you go. No more getting the ball stolen. Use those tips and you'll be just fine. Now, if you like today's video, do me a favor, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Most importantly, click that subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball, check out all the great things we have on YouTube. Let me slow that down for you. Click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and anything else you want to see, click the subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball as we release great content every single week to help you improve your game. Now the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the things that I've talked about today. Working your feet, getting your body in the right position, working on protecting the ball with your arm bar, right? So you don't get the ball stolen. That's what it's all about. So until I see you again next time, put that work in, and remember to always keep hooping.